Hi everyone and welcome. Let's model this Easter egg. I will start in an empty part studio. Press S for my shortcuts. Take the sketch tool. Select the front plane. Press N, normal view to that. P, hide all planes. L and Q for a construction line. Place that in the origin. Go up words and dimension that with 54 millimeters and then let's make that a little bigger here take that um, center point arc tool place the center here go up here go down there Continue with the tangent R tool here. Go somewhere here. With that same tool, continue sketching. One more and fourth one. Okay. Then one line. Um, just to catch the tangency between that line and that arc. Now, I'll place some dimensions here. Endpoint 6. Then, um, radius of 18. Another one here at 48. Then let's pull that out a little. Here, and that should be on that side, that center point of that radius. And dimension that with one millimeter and everything's fully constrained here. I'll show my constraints. Tangencies. Coincidence. Dimension. Okay, I'll exit that and go into a revolve, surface revolve. And, and I just picked that sketch here and that revolve axis. Okay, so there is our surface. I'll hide that for a moment and make that sketch one visible again. And then I will um, select that very same sketch plane and project all these lines here into that sketch number two. I'll hide sketch number one and then I continue with a line upwards and then connect that um, that arc and place an equal relationship between the two so that makes it fully defined and I'll well I could extend that extend no no no, no. I want to keep it separate so line from here to there right now I continue with a construction line from that midpoint go up here that'll be six millimeters high let me zoom in here and continue with the three point arc tool from here over there Okay, um, give that a four millimeter 
um, dimension, radial dimension. Then um, send a point arc from here to there to that end point. Go up here. And that'll have a radius of three millimeters. Then a tangency between those two and a vertical constraint between those two points. And then mirror over that line those two sketch entities. Now I will draw a line here, construction line. Doesn't matter the length. To mention that with um, 45 degrees, go to that mirror tool again and just mirror those um, entities over there. And then let's make a circular pattern of those four here and the uh, the center of that pattern we can pull that up here like that and the angle will be at 90 degrees and just two of those okay that's our sketch number two Let's exit that and make our surface visible again and take that split tool and we want to split all those faces and hide that surface with all those lines. And then accept that. And there is the result. Now let's thicken parts of that surface body. So I take that thicken command, take that one, that one, that one, go to the inside and I'll give that a 1.2 millimeter thickness and do that once more for the bottom part here with that same thickness. All right. We can hide that surface and make one of those sketches visible again, just to have an axis. Um, I will rotate those two parts around that axis just two times within 90 degree angle. There it is. And now let's make a Boolean operation here and subtract those two from those two. All right. And now Let's make a circular pattern of those around that axis once more, this time four times. We can hide that sketch. Our Easter egg is finished and we can apply some um, different colors to the individual parts.
Okay, and there you have your 3D printable Easter egg puzzle. I hope you like that. I wish you a happy Easter and two holidays, and I'll see you in the next video.